So this right here, make sure you mm -hmm. highlight highlight this the same the way I was doing it before. Like this? Mm-hmm. All of it or just this? All of it. And do all of it. Even oh. when I'm uh shaving them. I mean you don't that's the that's the long way you going, but you don't have to do it that way. And then right here? Yeah, that too. And remember I said two finger, drag it over. All right, so before I actually started cutting, uh, I went ahead and picked out the hair first, and now I'm taking my three guard with the lever closed, and I'm just going with the grain of my client's pattern. He wants it to a three, he wants to bounce back, get his waves back, and he wants to start off with a higher length. So um, uh, I suggested to go down to a three, and uh, that's basically a, a long enough uh, wavelength to uh, start the process. everything cut down I'm gonna start with the taper using my Babyliss skeleton trimmers setting in my bald line I'm doing it in a triangle like shape um, you don't have to do it like this mind you I, I just do it like this because it's better for me to create that rainbow like uh, shape Now using my wall cordless seniors with the lever open, I'm going up about a half inch, making sure I keep that rainbow like consistency all the way around the triangular shape. Now putting on my one guard with the lever open, I'm going up about a half inch, making sure I keep that same rainbow like shape all the way through. So right now, I'm not really going to focus on blending out that bulk at the top. Um, I'm just going to close the lever and soften up that middle line. Now with the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Keep in mind that I'm using my corners the entire time. I'm not using the full blade and uh, I'm starting below that line and flicking to the line. Now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Remember to start below the line, flick to the line, and then use your corners the entire time. So the reason why I left the book up top is because my client wanted waves, so I didn't want to cut off too much. So right now I got my two guard with the lever closed, and I'm just scooping out trying to get it to blend in as much as possible without taking off too much bulk. So right now, to me, is the most important part of the blend and that's detail work. Okay, right now I'm using my corners, um, uh, 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 flicking out in areas where I see bulk, adjusting my levers as I go. Um, you know, I like to arrest my eyes, look in the mirror, the mirror never lies, it always tells you imperfections uh, that you can't see head on, so always remember to uh, detail your work. When it comes to the beard fade I use the same steps the only difference is is that I'm fading downward so 
So as far as the back goes, it's the same steps. The only thing that I did differently on this one is that I took out the bottom line faster. So what I did was I did the bolt line, then I did the lever open. And then what I did was I put the lever halfway, uh, softened up that bottom line and then closed the bottom line, closed the lever and then took out the bottom line and then did the rest of the steps. So to prep the front line, what I like to do is I like to take the front line a guard size lower. So I slapped on my two guard with the lever closed and I'm just taking down the edge.
end of every haircut, you want to give your client a freehand trim. That, that's giving your uh, client that finished look. Those are getting the frizzy hairs off top to where everything can look nice and neat and clean. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in the full 360, and they come out looking like... Damn, son, where'd you find this? We make it look easy. You, too, this is The Cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My Instagram is 360GZ and my TikTok is official 360GZ. But it's your boy 360GZ and I'm out of here. Cheers.